Hi, this is Jack Vaughn, and I'm talking about high-speed trading. Uh, this is based largely on an article in the New York Times by Nathaniel Popper. And uh, Popper did uh, cite some statistics, and those came from the TAG group. Uh, the question is whether this type of uh, trading, this type of technology is taking a dive. You may want to deliberate on some of the latest news out of Wall Street uh, as you measure what the real-time enterprise means to your business. Uh, that's because there are limits to it. And the case in point comes by way of, again, the high-speed trading, no longer hurtling forward a New York Times article. It seems to show that uh, some of the so-called high-frequency trading firms are finding it harder to make a living. Uh, it was never an easy living, and um, it, uh, it, it, the old saying is true, you have to spend a buck to make a buck, and of course you're not making a buck if you have to spend more than a buck to make a buck. Uh, there's a whole folklore that grew up around high-speed trading, and like the best technology, it has an element of magic. A lot of it is carried forward because of competitive requirements. If uh, your competitor was uh, working that way, you had to at least consider it. Uh, but lately, lower trading volume is having an issue. If it looks too good to be true, well, it, it may not be true. Uh, the traders now represent a declining percentage of stock trading from 61% in 2009 to 51% in 2012. And um, the need to buy m more and more faster processors, faster connectors, and um, clever software be built or bought uh, it does have its limitations if it's harder to guarantee your uh, or estimate your uh, return on investment. Again, ROI is uh, lives. So clearly, high speed traders face challenges. One is the drop in volume. Two, it's harder to make profits from quickly buying and selling shares. The volatility isn't what it was. And uh, the ability to outsmart the slow investor, who, by the way, is standing on the sidelines more and more, uh, is less uh, uh, the case as it might have once been. Mutual funds have adopted some of the same automated strategies, um, and it just costs extra money to get that last inch, to get that last second of edge. Uh, 